In the last video, we noted that Reason has a number of different sections to it. You have the sequencer, the rack, and the mixer. We also noticed that even on a big screen, there isn't really enough room to have all this stuff on the screen at once. And the way that Reason deals with this is to make the sections flexible. So if you move the mouse over any of these borders between the different sections, you're able to drag things up and down to make them bigger or smaller. So here, for example, we're making the sequencer bigger. And here, we're making the rack bigger. Of course, every time you make something bigger, it pushes something else slightly off the screen. Um, but that's just the way it goes. Uh, you get overview sections on the right to help you navigate your projects. And some of these can be dragged as well. This is the rack overview. You'll see that if you pull these sections out, you can actually make that quite big. When your rack gets very full of stuff, which it almost certainly will, this is quite a nice way of navigating up and down it. The same goes for the main mixer at the top here. You get a little overview section that lets you zoom up and down the main mixer. And the mixer is very tall, so this is really an invaluable thing to have. The same goes even for the sequencer. Once you get lots of sequencer tracks, you can zoom up and down very easily using this little overview here. If you're on a laptop or a computer with a small screen, then having everything on screen like this at once can be pretty handy. It's a nice thing to be able to do. Sometimes you might want to just focus in on one section of Reason to work on, for example, some advanced mixing or some sequencing. And you can do that by going up to the window menu here and choosing to just view one of the sections. So for example, here, you might want to choose just to view the main mixer. Now there's not too much going on yet because this is a simple project, but if you had 15, 20, 30, 40 tracks, this would be a much easier way of mixing them than trying to do it from within the main window. Uh, you also have the option to just view the racks, which makes things a bit easier to manage. And also to just view the sequencer. And when your projects start to get big, this is a much easier way of seeing how they all fit together in terms of composition. To jump back to the main view, you can go Window, View All, or press Command F7. Sometimes you might want to split a section off. And the reason that you might want to do that is if you had a big screen or two monitors, it's really nice sometimes to be able to have, for example, a big sequencer on the left and a big mixer on the right if you have the luxury of a big screen. You can do that by going to Window and choosing to detach either the mixer or the rack sections. And you'll see that now I've detached the mixer, that's actually floating as a new window. So I could put that onto a different screen if I wanted. I can reattach it using the same command. And I can also detach the rack window if I wanted. And again, you can see that floating above the other windows. So there's quite a lot going on. If you do have a big screen or two screens, it's really nice to be able to split things off and work with them across all your screen space. There are a couple of other interesting little tools in the window menu. The first one is actually called the tool window, and this provides quick access to all the instruments and effects and lets you drag and drop these into a project. It also lets you manage things like quantization, regroove, and samples that are used in your song. We'll talk about the tool window a bit later on. You also get a rather crafty little on-screen piano. And this is pretty handy if you're on the move and you don't have a keyboard with you. You're able to trigger sounds either using the mouse or using your computer keyboard to input notes. And you have advanced controls like velocity, variation, repeat, hold, and sustain as well. So this is really nice to know about. The final option in the window menu is the recording meter. Now we haven't currently selected anything for recording, but if we do, which we'll do a little bit later on, you'll be able to see that appearing here. So that's how Reason deals with windowing. Next, let's have a look at how you go about creating devices.